Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Russia has now invaded Ukraine. After several weeks of military preparation that led to a heightened fear of a global war, Vladimir Putin has launched a broad Russian military offensive targeting Ukraine on Thursday morning. After first broadcasting a speech announcing what he called this a special military operation to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine. The initial waves of strikes has seen missiles, drone attacks, artillery and airstrikes on several military infrastructure and border installations including air bases. President Zelensky of Ukraine has appealed for peace, calling the war a disaster with a high price. He has also appealed to the NATO and the international community to support the country as it defends itself. Hundreds have gathered here on the streets of London to show their support to Ukraine and stand against war. Last night, several protested against Russian aggression outside the Russian embassy but the invasion early this morning has drawn them out on the streets once again. Well, I'm Bishop Kenneth Novakoski and I'm the Ukrainian Catholic Bishop of the Holy Family of London and also the Bishop for our brother and the Roman Catholics in Great Britain. We have a large Ukrainian community in the United Kingdom and especially for those who are defending Ukraine and those world leaders and who are yeah, working towards a peaceful resolution and we hope that that will happen soon. We've been in contact with many of our who are, however, very brave and doing the best they can to defend the humanity. I think that one of the things that we're so grateful for is the awareness and the solidarity that we found here in the United Kingdom, but the Ukrainian community has been very supportive. And we hope that the uh, government and our colleagues and all the members of the House of Congress and the House of Lords will continue to stand in solidarity and support Ukraine. Stop Putin! Stop the war! 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 So, sanctions is very good, but it's not enough, yeah, because killing of people is going on right now as we speak, yeah. So send military equipment to Ukraine. Send your troops. Don't be afraid. Yeah, we already are fighting. Yeah, they are not gods. Yes, and you have your family and friends in Ukraine. Yes. Have you heard from them? What are they telling you? So civilians are just trying to keep everything what is required. Yeah, so uh, make sure they have all the resources. But uh, otherwise, we are guided by our military administrations, and uh, yeah, we try to be organized and uh, avoid any panic. Okay, I hope things get better as we move on. Thank you. Yeah, okay. but we need the uh, support of all nations. Yeah, Absolutely. so honestly, Putin does not have any a, any alliances who will help you. Yeah? yeah, so we are more. Don't be afraid. Just act. Yeah, help people now. Don't wait. Talking in Parliament is very good, yeah, but we now need an action. We want the British government to paralyze the Russian state now and to declare to Vladimir Putin that he has one destination more in his life apart from that bunker in the Kremlin, and that is the International Criminal Court at The Hague. Yes. If he is lucky, if Putin is lucky, he will end his time at The Hague. If he is unlucky, he will end his time as Mussolini did. That is the option for Putin. Shortly after four o'clock this morning, I spoke to President Zelensky of Ukraine to offer the continued support of the UK. Because our worst fears have now come true and all our warnings have proved tragically accurate. President Putin of Russia has unleashed war in our European continent. He's attacked a friendly country without any provocation, 
and without any credible excuse. Innumerable missiles and bombs have been raining down on an entirely innocent population. A vast invasion is underway by land, by sea and by air. And this is not in the infamous phrase, some faraway country of which we know little. We have Ukrainian friends in this country, neighbours, co-workers. Ukraine is a country that for decades has enjoyed freedom and democracy and the right to choose its own destiny. We and the world cannot allow that freedom just to be snuffed out. We cannot and will not just look away. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has called the Russian invasion of UK a catastrophe for our continent. He has assured Ukraine President Zelensky that the West would do everything in their power to help Ukraine tide over this crisis, stating quite explicitly that Putin has chosen a path of bloodshed and destruction by launching this unprovoked attack on Ukraine. The Prime Minister vows to hurt Russia through an extensive array of sanctions. But this is not enough, say the Ukrainian people in the UK. They want the West, including the UK, to use their entire might against Russian aggression on Ukraine. Outside 10 Downing Street in London, this is Ruhi Khan for Mojo Story. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.